Hello, my name is Dr. Emil Verbin, developer of the Verbin Depth Gauge. I've been placing dental implants for 20 years and invented this gauge to aid in the placement of implants with a 1.8 millimeter polished collar. With these implants, the crown margin is established on the platform of the implant rather than on the abutment, making the vertical position of the implant extremely critical. The gauge will indicate what, if any modification is needed, to be made to the crest of the ridge to position the implant platform in the proper vertical position, allowing fabrication of aesthetic restorations. In this video, I will describe the features of the gauge and how to use the gauge to place implants in the ideal three-dimensional position. Each collar represents the 1.8 millimeter polished surface and diameter of the implant platform. These collars are made in three diameters, 3.5, 4.8, and 6.5 millimeters. They are all compatible with the 2.2 millimeter threaded probe. The diameter of the threaded probe is 2.2 millimeter. A thread has been left off the probe to indicate 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14 millimeter depths coinciding to the markings on the implant drills. This would be an example of a 10 millimeter implant. The collar on the gauge can be rotated to the 10 millimeter mark indicating the implant platform for a 10 millimeter implant. As you can see the Verbin gauge indicates the platform of a 10 millimeter implant. So now let's go to a model demonstration. For this demonstration, let's assume we drill to a depth of 6 millimeters with a 2.2 drill. We can then set the platform to the 6 millimeter mark and insert the gauge. For fabrication of aesthetic restorations, it is important to have the platform 1.5 to 3 millimeters apical to the CEJ of adjacent teeth. We can now evaluate the platform position in reference to the CEJ of the adjacent teeth. If we need the platform to be more apical, we can then modify or reduce the height of bone on the crest and reinsert the gauge. Adjustments are made to the crest, establishing the vertical platform position before enlarging the osteotomy. With this approach, the ridge is modified to allow the platform position in the vertical position before the osteotomy is prepared to full depth and dimension. In this way, the polished collar will not be placed subcrestal, which will cause loss of bone from the neck of the implant. I would now like to demonstrate the use of the gauge during a surgery. In this surgery, papilla saving incisions are made to expose the crest of the ridge. Next, the collar is rotated to the apex of the gauge and the platform is evaluated in reference to the interproximal tissue and CEJs of the adjacent teeth. The crest can be modified and then the gauge reinserted. When the ridge is modified to allow proper vertical position of the platform, osteotomy is prepared to the desired depth for the implant length. The platform will then be positioned in the desired vertical position. Here you can see the ideal three-dimensional position of the platform of the implant which will allow fabrication of an aesthetic restoration. With the use of the verb and depth gauge, proper three-dimensional placement of the implant platform will be easy to produce on a consistent basis.